going on, everybody? It's time to change it up a little bit. No music. So, uh, my name is Kenny Bird, for those who don't know. And for those who don't know, I do have psoriasis, which is like an extra layer of skin on my hands, you know, and feet. And one time, somebody's going to come up to me and ask me, you know, Kenny, what happened to your hands? And I'm just going to be like, ah! Man, I tell you what, I, had to, I took a big fall the other day out at the golf course. People wouldn't know, but uh, golf is pretty tough. Although uh, it was kind of my fault. I was going over a fence and didn't quite make it. I ended up with three stitches in my head. Yeah, I'm sitting around bleeding from the head, and golfers are going, Yo, Dude, you're alright, you're alright. No, you idiot, I'm bleeding from the head. Dude, what should we do? What should we do? Oh, I don't know. Uh, get a shirt, put some pressure on my head. There's an idea. Thank God Kenny Randall was there. That kid saved my life. When I, when I turn 21, I'm going to have to buy him a beer. But yeah, I was at the doctor's office right after that, and uh, Doc goes, Well, it's a good thing you uh, shaved your head recently, because uh, this would make it really tough. I'm like, yeah, you know what, Doc? I was sitting at home yesterday thinking, I might bump my head tomorrow and need some stitches, so I'm going to shave it just for you. And it's just for you, Doc. I tell you what, I cannot stand the bathrooms in here. Does anyone like the bathrooms here? No! Man, Man, the biggest problem I got with the bathrooms is probably the toilet paper. Because I have you seen this stuff? It's like half plaid. And so I need like three plaid to feel safe, you know what I mean? I can see through this stuff. Sometimes there's actually brown stuff on it already. How am I supposed to know when this is done? I got an idea for the school. The next time you get a grant, maybe put some, you know, a little bit of money aside and uh, spend it on some toilet paper. The good stuff. But I hate going to the bathroom and I have to go take a poop. And uh, there's urine on the seats. I don't know if girls have problems. I hope not. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, you go in the guy's bathroom. You gotta wipe it down with the toilet paper, hope you don't get it on your hands first. Also, you, all because somebody has a bad aimer. <laughs> Next time you go in there and you have to use a stall to go to the bathroom, try this little activity. Oh my god, it's hard to figure. Look, at, there's so much room, nobody's gonna sit on that. That's crazy. Man, that's... I think they should just start putting carnival games in there, you know what I mean? Guys are sitting there at the urinal, going to the bathroom, put it in a corner, raise somebody, you know, the balloon goes on top, pops it, who pops it? <laughs> For the stalls, you put like a little target area. 20, 40, 60, in high score! That can also work for when you take a crap, because, uh... That turd was a 7.5 on the Richter scale. New high score. People are so surprised when I told them that I fell when I hit my head. I'm like, yeah, that's usually how it works. You fall and you hit your head. You don't kind of fall upward, but... I don't know why that's so surprising to them, because, you know, I'm pretty much a klutz all the time. Like, one time, I used to be real athletic, you know. Used to uh, run on the treadmill a little bit. And, well, I'm running along, I'm running along, have my CD player sitting up there, kind of falls. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go get that without stopping. So I grab on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, guys, that's all the time I got. Thanks a lot.